Hello everyone. Apologies that the start of this vlog is being filmed on the iPhone, but it is Tuesday. Just got my nails done. Little Hailey Bieber inspired pearl nails. On my way to meet up with Cassie now, where we're going to take you guys along on a very fun filled window shopping day. So let's get to it. We usually do that if we have like a ton of people. Yeah. Time, but right now it's kind of just. Oh my just god, literally new, like a. Mother. You knew that I was neutral, huh? Oh, totally. <laughs> totally. This is kind of what I just picked for you. And then we have a mirror, so you can totally. You literally have to do just like a full all white ensemble. Yeah. Like that. Mm hmm. I've made it to the mothership with Jack who has hey guys. pulled a ton of bags for me to take a look at. This showroom is literally so insane. So cute. So cute. Very pretty. And the inside, I think it's a um, contrast interior. Is it? Yeah. Very pretty, oh my god. Yeah. Very cute. Mm -hmm. Good can come from this, let me tell you. <laughs> wait, wait. It's like you just proposed to her. <laughs> Versus mm -hmm. a little cooler. And then since this is a three in one, it'll come out and then there's the contrast twelve. Stop. Yeah, there's wow. it's like bright yellow. Yes. Let's take a look at it. I love how like the palladium can just really dress down the mm -hmm. bag. Okay. Ooh. Fun. Kind of cool. I love a brown and yellow. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wait, look at this without the back. I know. It's wow. Really I want them to do a 25 3 in one mm. and then it would have a longer drop. Yeah. It could actually fit your watch. So true. Yeah. It's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Get in my way now, don't be shy We'll be here dancing day and night Get in my groove now, don't be shy Cause I got this list of my favorite things You could be the part where it all begins You could be the first and the second and the third and the rest of it Talk about how we look like. I'm 
we're just <laughs> creeping up in the zoo. I know. I either look like I'm in a zoo or I'm in a prison. But the prison I want to be in, with filled with these things. <gasps> there is one there that looks like it's the perfect like tennis mini Kelly. That is a Wimbledon moment. Trying on Hermes bags made us hungry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, we still have more patience than money. Yes, yes. We are talking about buying Birkins resale of free love and all of that. And now, we are inception vlogging each other. Yes. Wait, we need to ask each other's audience what video we should do together for each oh, other's please. channel. What video do you want us to do together? Mm -hmm. right? let, let, us, let us know. Yeah. And, and also here. So, now on my phone. Marco is picking us up. Um, we've had a lot of fun window shopping today. I am now, I, we've had so much fun that I am now lent against this like Alan from The Hangover. Look at the hat. Look at that. I've had enough. We're well fed what from our What around fed. comes around. Mm -hmm. The fire. Whenever we're together, we're always looking at tons of beautiful pieces. Honestly, it's, it's so. become an issue. It's, I can't yeah. get out with you. This is the first and last vlog that you'll see of us together. It's terrible. <laughs> okay, well, we haven't bought anything True, crazy. true. But we do keep planting seeds in so, each other's minds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, going to put this camera away now. I'm going to continue vlogging Thursday, pre-LASIK might see this one again <laughs> most likely so we'll see you guys then <laughs> bye, bye. It is LASIK day. Just checked in to Pendry Manhattan West, which you guys know is one of Mark and I's favorite hotels in the city. Um, yeah, I just checked in. Marco should be leaving work in like half an hour. And our procedure is later this afternoon and we plan on just, you know, taking it easy the rest of the night. So part of this vlog is gonna take you guys through the process. I'll try and film what I can. Um, and then follow up on how we recover and all that. Last time I'll be wearing my glasses. I do have to get to some work though, so I'm gonna chill for a little bit. Alicia is in New York, so going to see her, and that is all. See you guys later. I literally love my Pendry family. Devin sent a little care package because she knows that Mark and I are here for our LASIK procedure. Uh, so we have banana pudding from Magnolia, snacking on that later, and then we have a bottle of wine, and Kelly Vision actually said to just, like, drink some wine tonight and go to sleep, so for sure going to be doing that. Also, this book is taking me forever to read. Like, I have not touched it in weeks. Is it slow for everyone else, or is it just me? Look at this one! Hello! You wouldn't guess that she has missing luggage. Oh, oh. <laughs> Always living life on the edge. Did you see my gift, guys? Now we match.
<laughs> I was like, oh, so that's the procedure. Yeah. It's, it honestly just feels bad. like, for the first second, just like something's pressing down on your eye. Yeah. Like binoculars, it's like really getting pressed in there. But you don't feel it, right? Because they, they put no. like a... No, you've got well, numbing drops, but you feel the you pressure. You feel like oh. the thing like pressing down on your face. Oh, okay, okay. And then the, la the next part is, it just feels like he's applying contact. All right, styling and profiling. I'm gonna record a little bit and then I'm gonna sit down. All right, Finished up our LASIK. I can't see. Marco can't open his eyes. It literally feels like you're cutting, cutting onions. onions right now. Um, but going to head back to the hotel, rest up for the night, order room service, and hopefully 2020 by the morning. Yeah. Marco and I just keep crying. <laughs> Bruh, I can't even keep my eyes open. I, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> I can't keep it open. <laughs> this is what's going on with me. My eyes are closed behind these glasses. But basically, we had our procedure done around like maybe 5 o'clock. I am now drinking wine in hopes that it will help me fall asleep. So this is my current state. Um, I will check back in tomorrow because... I just want to knock out. Bye. How's life feel in 2020? I'm just amazed. I I can read. <laughs> At a follow appointment. Are you? I can't believe you don't have any pop vessels. I'm like so sad about my eyes. Is the phone in my face? I can't tell. Oh, 2015! <laughs> e so estimated cost is around seventeen, eighteen hundred dollars an eye. Okay. It can be as low as fifteen hundred dollars an eye. It could be as much as twenty-five hundred dollars an eye, depending on the laser we use and the prescription the person has. And then insurance can sometimes cover it. Depending on rarely sometimes insurances will offer a discount uh, but they rarely cover it because they consider it a cosmetic and elective mm -hmm. procedure does it hurt really want to do it but terrified of the idea of something touching my eyes so the way I address that is uh, it's done with a laser from beginning to end uh, so there's no scalpel there's no needle there's no sharp instruments uh, but there is contact with laser energy on the eye it's a pretty gentle interaction um, and there is some pain for the first five hours afterwards as you experienced mm -hmm. yourself. Uh, but after that, the pain goes away. During the procedure, not a ton of pain, a little bit of pressure and discomfort. Mm -hmm. Is it true you need to have a thick cornea in order to qualify for LASIK? Depending on the prescription, your cornea has to have a, at least a minimum thickness. It doesn't necessarily have to be thick, but it can't be too thin. Mm -hmm. And we measure that in the office during the consultation. What is the recommended window to get it done? In terms of age, I tell patients as long as their prescription's been stable for at least a year and you're over 18, that could be a good time. Mm -hmm. And then I have astigmatism. Would I be eligible to get LASIK? Because my sister actually said that hers were like too cone shaped, so she can't do it. So, what are the options for people? So, I hear this question a lot about astigmatism. Astigmatism can be fully corrected. One does have to have sufficient thickness in his or her cornea for I think this. we both. Yeah. A tiny bit. Yeah. You guys had like a little bit, really mm -hmm. a small amount. Mm -hmm. um, but even larger amounts of astigmatism can be corrected so long as the corneal thickness is sufficient. Was it LASIK or femtotopo LASIK? Okay. So oh, that's a pretty uh, <laughs> serious question. Yeah. So this, this is a person who's, who's done a lot of research. Yeah. Uh, so it is a combination. So the femtosecond laser is the laser that makes the flap. Ah. And then the second laser does the topography guided correction of the prescription. So it's a combination of those two into ah. one. Uh, the process of clamping your eyes. <laughs> I know, I get that. People are really concerned about that. We use that instrument, it's a retractor or yeah. speculum. Yeah. And the people, because a lot of people are not sure how it's done and, and they are of the mindset well i can't keep my eye open yeah in fact that was no me. one no one can so mm -hmm. that's why we use that instrument yeah. yeah okay well i think those are like the 
name on the other ones or asking like Mark and I was like, how did you guys both do it at the same yeah. time? It was literally like the blind leading the blind. Yeah, like, that was, first it was hours. definitely interesting yeah. leaving here. Did you yeah. go to a hotel? Yeah, we yeah. stayed at a hotel nearby. Blackout I would have walked you yeah. back to the hotel. <laughs> yeah. I would have known. <laughs> no, you're okay. good. Yeah. We made it back with the, with the uh, Uber. Uber. Okay. So we were good. I was just closing my eyes the whole time in the Uber. Yeah. It's rough those first few hours. Are Hello, everyone. It has been a few days, um, almost two weeks to be exact, since I last was filming in this video. So as you can see from the last few clips, it was a bit chaotic after LASIK. Um, the past two weeks, I haven't really been filming anything because I did have like a super red left eye, which has been getting better day by day. So we're fine. I'm gonna hit two weeks since I got LASIK tomorrow and yeah, hopefully this goes by by the weekend because I've had to pivot a lot of projects and campaigns because I couldn't really film or shoot since this eye looked honestly pretty scary. It doesn't happen to everyone. Like Marco didn't have any issues. It was just something that happened for me because I had like, it's like a popped vessel. But basically the procedure took 15 minutes. Um, I'm trying to recall the experience. I just know that it was so uncomfortable that night at the hotel after the numbing drops wore off. So there's no like needles or anything like that. Basically we had like these numbing drops and then they had retractors that kept our eyes open. And I laid down on this bed, they gave me like stress balls to squeeze and you move from one machine to another. So the first machine, it basically just feels like a telescope, like pressing down on your eye. I have footage of this whole procedure. Marco actually filmed it right before his procedure. So I went first and then he was recording me and then he went, which I don't know how he did it because if you're going to do LASIK, I highly recommend not looking at the procedure before doing it because what I went through isn't what it felt like once I looked back on it. When I watched the footage and I could only watch part of it, I was like, oh, it doesn't seem, like that's not how it felt when I was laying there. So the first part, it just feels like a telescope that's like really pressing on your eye and then it goes black for like a few seconds. And then once that happens to both eyes, you get moved and then it basically feels like he's just like painting something on your eyeball and then you're done. It's 15 minutes. And then Marco and I got back to the hotel that night. Our eyes started to water once the numbing drops wore off. And then it just felt really uncomfortable because our eyes just felt kind of like heavy or whatever. And we couldn't really open them. And it was super blurry and hard to see. We literally had extra large fonts on our phone and we were able to like get back to our hotel. Uh, so we managed that. And then we just laid in bed. We had these goggles that we had to wear that you guys saw. And that was just to prevent any rubbing. But I literally have not rubbed my eyes since before LASIK because I've just been like really paranoid about like causing that flap to like rip open or something. Marco and I wore ours for four nights, uh, even though they only said to do it for three. And then we had to use these eye drops four times a day for a week. And then in between those drops, we just use Refresh. Um, so that's just to like kind of keep the eye moisturized. I've had dry eyes since before LASIK, so I just use these religiously now. Yeah, we were literally able to see the next day and it's just been like the craziest feeling, not having to reach for glasses, pop in contacts. Uh, our grades weren't that aggressive. It was 1.75, 2.25. And then Marco, I think was 2.25 and 2.75. Uh, so we both did LASIK and then there are other procedures called PRK, SMILE, but those just vary and just like are dependent on so many different things. Yeah, just thank you so much Dr. Kelly for doing the procedure on us. I will have more on this on my Instagram. I'm filming a reels for them because I am working with Kelly Vision Center. It's interesting because when I was looking into LASIK a few years ago, they were one of the places that I looked at, but I kind of just had this fear of like, I have like a fear of medical procedures in general. So I was like, you know what? My grade's not even that bad. So let's just, let's just go with it. Um, but I am so glad that I did it because it has been really nice to just like wake up and be able to see 
not reach for my glasses, not worry about contact lenses. He had to do a follow-up the next day just to make sure that our eyes were healing properly. And we actually have a follow-up end of this month, which is basically like a month from our procedure to just make sure we're still on track. But um, yeah, thank you so much to Dr. Kelly and to Kelly Vision Center for Marco and I's LASIK. It just felt like the right time to do it because you know the wedding is coming up and yeah, it has been so great. So that is it for this vlog. I just kind of wanted to wrap this up with the LASIK experience and have a story saved just so that there's like a little reference thing in case anyone else is curious, but also feel free to DM me, leave comments down below. Let me know what you guys are thinking about LASIK. I am going to catch up on some work now while this eye continues to heal. And I will hopefully see you guys next week for a new vlog. Once again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.